I'm SirTapTap, and a lot of the questions I get basically boil down to, wait, you can do X? Where's the button to do X? And, you know, so I thought I'd just do a whole run through down the UI, because a lot of the interface in this game you don't really need to use most of the time, so it's pretty easy to forget or not notice. Um, first thing, some people don't notice that there's a camera button here. So, in fact, let me, so, when I talk about the main menu in the game, I mean this. And when you close this, I don't know what to call this exactly, but this is the main menu. And sort of when you close the main menu, you get access to these two other menus. One of them is the camera here, which, camera tip. You can actually freeze the frame and move around and, you know, line up a perfect shot. You can even readjust you which fish you're, you know, if you wanted to, like, share a picture of the, uh, the, the jellyfish for, you know, an unlock or something, you could, you know, click share, and it, this, it's suddenly the jellyfish because it's, I tapped on that. And, uh, that's basically, the, the camera controls, you know, you can see them up there. Um, the VR button, if your device supports VR, the VR button will also be in the camera interface over here on the left. Uh, my device does not, because it's an app player. This is also possibly the most forgotten menu in the game. This painter's palette here, next to the camera, this is the customization menu. Uh, a lot of people don't realize it exists. The game doesn't do a good job of letting you know it exists. Uh, basically, these are a bunch of little um, dress-up things you can change. You know, you can change a coral color, change the visual effect of the background. There's some nice stuff in here. Um, anytime there's an event, there'll be one... You know, like, for this event, there's the candle hat, there's the cake dye. I don't know why it's called the candle hat, there's no candle on the hat, but whatever. You know, there's some nice color changes. Uh, anytime there's a new event, you'll be able to buy some new little things. And you get to keep anything that you buy, obviously, like, this is from Christmas and I still have it. You, any event, basically, what the way events work is that it limits your ability to buy things. As long as you buy it, it's still yours. Uh, there's the mystery chest. I guess that's the UI element. So when you see the mystery chest, you can open it. And what's in the mystery chest, you just, you have to watch an ad to open it. I don't particularly recommend opening the mystery chest. It's got three possible things. Um, one of them is just vitality, a very low amount of vitality. One of them is a really bad auto clicker, which is not worth getting. And one of them is 30 gems. So, it's a one third chance to get 30 gems, which basically means that watching an ad in the shop is just a better idea. Um, so... Well, let's get into the main menu then. Uh, the main menu, there's quite a lot going on here, which is why people get confused, I guess. Uh, let's start at the top. This is your Google Play menu. This is basically, this doesn't matter for in-game things at all anymore. This is just if you like, um, you know, your achievements on Google Play, um, you can, you know, see them here. Oh, not even signed in, apparently. This used to be where Google Play quests were, where you could get gems. Those aren't in the games anymore. Those were too fun, so they removed them. Obviously, you know, they, they got you a decent amount of gems and not that we, we couldn't have that. No, no, no. This is the Facebook menu. Um, oh, I don't have Facebook on this device. The Facebook menu is pretty self-explanatory. Anything that tells you to go to the friend or the Facebook menu is here. Uh, just as a note, when you log in with Facebook, it changes your cloud save. Um, usually the game cloud saves to your Google Play or your iCloud account. If you're logged in with Facebook, it also saves to your Facebook. The problem with that is if you save, if you share a Facebook with somebody else, one of you is eventually going to overwrite one of your your other friend's saves. So don't, if you share a Facebook, which you shouldn't do anyway, um, don't sign in with your shared Facebook. One of you probably will get your data erased. Um, hello Parker. Also, the, kind of like the other things, um, the Facebook present you can get, a lot of people are like, oh, is, this is so cheap, is this, is this good? Or is this what? Um, the Facebook vitality present is based on coral vitality and Coral Vitality is garbage for most of the game. Very early on, like if you're below Z Vitality, um, the present might be worth it, but otherwise, don't just assume because the game has it, it's worth it. Um, compare things to like your tap vitality. Like if you saw my, I, don't, I guess you didn't see it, but like if I, if I were to get the idle vitality pop up right now, I would get a few E Vitality, which is less than a click. So it's, it's garbage. Um, this is the photo award thing, which you need this for an event, it's other or you need this to get a certain fish. Parker, you're not assisting. <laughs> I like their vortex of marlins, that's a nice one. Um, I think you get like a certain amount of gems, I think you get like a thousand gems or more, if you do happen to win, and some people have won, I mean, like, 
people that I know have reported winning, so I mean, if you want to enter in, you have to use Instagram, but, um, it's not the least likely thing in the world to win. Uh, this trophy menu is extremely important. Um, it's not necessarily important in most games, but when you get achievements in Abyssrium, it increases your vitality production, it gives you gems. Uh, this daily mission is super important. One of the most common mistakes I see people making is not doing the daily missions. Um, because what the daily mission does, see, it gives you 10 Coral Light levels for basically for free. 10 Coral levels for all Coral for free, basically. Um, the Vitality Rewards suck, but getting these Pearls is very important. Uh, this interface does require you to be online. Um, the, the game is nearly unplayable offline at this point. Uh, you can kind of poke around, but I mean... It, 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 it is basically view only offline at this point, unfortunately. Um, yeah, the daily mission is very important, and if you're if you're slow going, I would definitely recommend just, even if you only get those ten core light levels. There's only so long you can be stuck if you uh, if you get those. Uh, the collection menu also just well, you collect fish and then you get pearls. Um, so these two menus are the only free ways to get pearls, other than the gasha, which I'll show you in a second. Um, you just collect whatever fish are in the list, and then you get some pearls. And once you complete all of the fish. You, uh, you get a bigger reward, and then you go to the next one. Uh, it's really only the first one you'll probably be able to get before you get to, say, Z, Vitality and Beyond. Because it eventually starts requiring multiple fish. And, like, this Peppermint Angel own 30 angels. Like, it's, it's a very steep curve. Basically, this one you, can, you should complete, like, right away. Because it's, you know, just regular fish, and you only need one. Level 2, pretty extreme. Level 3 and 4, even more extreme. But uh, they're good late re game rewards for a lot of pearls at once. Um, basically, the achievements, you don't need to worry a ton about them, but anytime you see a red exclamation point, you definitely want to go in there, you want to get your reward. Let's get our pearls. Now we got the pearls. Those are very important. Anytime, especially these, these top three are the most important ones because they increase your total vitality production. You always want to clean those right away. In fact, I'm very close to this mysterious stone one. Uh, also, these top three, they go on forever, basically. Um, you'll never max these out because, well, I mean, there's probably a theoretical maximum, but they go beyond, like, three layers. Most of these other ones, there's only ten achievements. Um, for these ones, they're effectively uncapped. Um, the gear menu is basically the settings, the lets you change language. Um, your user tag is in the bottom left there, hopefully I remembered to censor that out. Basically, that's private information. Um, people can't load your save with that, but they can theoretically, like, talk to support and be like, Oh, hey, could you reset user tag AA5? And, you know, I don't know if there's really much people could do with that, but it's technically private, so I wouldn't... I would avoid sharing that, is all. Um, if you do talk to support, you can get your... whatever support sends you will be in this inbox, otherwise it'll always be empty. It's probably, it's probably going to be empty unless you get, you know, a bug or something. Um, there's also, you get a, there's a fish you can get for click the Twitter button in here. Um, sit, cloud saves are very important. Um, they are finally automatic. They didn't used to be automatic, so if you played last year and then you deleted your game and you started playing this year, you probably lost your save unless you manually saved. Uh, cloud saves are now automatic, which is good. Pretty much all there is there. You can, by the way, you can turn this notice off. The notice means notifications for vitality only. It'll still give you the vital, the uh, fish notifications. So I would basically turn that off, and I would turn off the script. The script just means the core light talking. The the core light does give you a few tips early on, but it repeats the same tips whether you've already got the fish or not, and it's just pretty unhelpful. Uh, moving right along, the manage fish menu is a menu that a lot of people miss, even though it's pretty omnipresent. Um, anytime you get a fish from the, um, I'm dodging my cat here, he is very needy. Why don't you say hi? They don't believe that you're here when you're quiet. They don't believe me. They think I'm talking to myself. Talk. Say hi. I don't know. He, he knows to be quiet when he's in this room. He's very loud in the kitchen. I don't understand. Cats are very strange beasts. Anyway, uh, the way the game works, a lot of people think that like, oh, at some point they their fish start disappearing and blah blah blah. The way the game works is that you have a cap amount of fish because, you know, your phone is only so powerful. So it doesn't let you have like 
How many fish do I have? Over a thousand. It doesn't let you have a thousand fish out, so... The way it works is that every coral you buy expands how many fish you can get. And so, if your fish are disappearing, just look at this number here. Uh, if these numbers are the same, that means you've reached your fish cap. And that your fish... It automatically stores the oldest fish, so to speak. The first fish taken out gets automatically stored. Uh, you can also store all of your fish if you want, and then you just tap on these and, you know, get your fish back out. They're sort of sorted into these different things. Um, oh, and one more thing. The... Ugh, Parker, please. Um, any, any fish you get in the Gasha, which is this luck shell thing, those automatically go into manage fish. They do not instantly appear in your tank. Because it would actually be really annoying if they did, because they would push out all of your other fish. So that's why that doesn't happen. Uh, so, moving down. So this looks, this menu here looks way complicated now, and it kind of is unfortunate. Um, so this is your event currency. Event currency persists between events, by the way. So I will keep all of this delicious cake for the next event. It'll turn into the next event currency. So like, if Halloween is the next event, that'll turn into Halloween candies. And you won't lose any, so don't worry about that. Uh, this is your vitality amount. Hopefully you knew that. This is your per tap vitality. Every time I, you know, tap or click, because I'm playing a Nox app player, uh, that gives me that amount. That's your per second vitality. Your idle vitality is only based on your per second vitality. Um, there's a lot of different things in the game that are based off of either your tap vitality and your per second vitality. Eventually, only the per tap really matters. Like I said, after about Z, you can basically stop caring about anything based off of coral vitality or per second vitality. These are your gems, these are your pearls, that's your fish count. These are from the farms, actually, which I'll show those in a second. Um, don't worry if you can't get the last three items in this menu, they're not actually in the game, and I don't know why they even put the interface in there for them. It's kind of stupid. Anyway, uh, this is your main, this is your st up stone upgrade menu. This is where you cast your skills. Um, this one's pretty self-explanatory. You level up your Coralite with your stuff. That gives you more vitality. It's it's a clicker game, you know. You just get you get points, and you spend your points on things to get you even more points. It's a basic, you know, aspect of the game. Um, just as a quick reminder, I strongly recommend upgrading Song of the Moon and Delicious Food first. Um, the other skills aren't really that amazing in comparison. Glowing Conch is pretty good, because that reduces your skill time by up to 50%. And that means... Basically that means you can cast Song of the Moon every hour instead of every two hours. And it means you can recharge skills by watching an ad every seven and a half minutes instead of every 15 minutes. So basically that means you can cast Delicious Food multiplied by Song of the Moon every eight minutes. Which is pretty intense for progression. Because um, after Z Vitality, like I said, only only casting your skills will really matter. Everything else basically does not matter. Parker, please. He keeps... He's, he's attempting to destroy my life with allergies. His tail is... I don't know what about him is, but his tail is particularly... Like, I can feel the itch. Hello, thanks. He licked my nose, thank you. Why Why you do this? He's licking me. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. He's, he's a very helpful cat. Anytime I'm doing a thing, he has to assist in very helpful ways. Alright, so let's go to the coral menu. Like I said, this coral early on, or early on, it's extremely important. Like, don't don't think that just because I said it's bad necessarily means it's always bad. Early on, it can be super important. Anytime that this number is significantly bigger than this number, that means your coral is doing a really good job. But uh, where I'm at, like even after I get all of these multipliers, it's still going to be less than my per tap. Let's see. But yeah. Um, oh! Odd UI quirk. If you buy bundles of... If you buy these things by the tens or the hundreds, you actually... I think you spend... Oh, what is it? There's an efficiency cost. Um, it's actually... I think you get 7% more... Or it costs 7% more per level if you buy in bulk. Which is the opposite of the way buying in bulk usually works. But yeah, if you... That usually only matters for the stone. Never buy the stone in bulk. Never upgrade the stone in bulk. Only go level by level. Because that will never, there'll never be a reason to upgrade that like that. 
Um, but the corals, early on, like I said, before Z, it's pretty worth it to just, you know, go one by one. But later on in the game, what I usually do is I just wait until I'm a letter of Vitality Beyond the upgrade cost, and then I buy 100 at a time. Because 100 Korra levels usually costs one letter, so to speak. So, that's how I do that. Um, oh, the farms menu is one thing that ma many people miss. So, in the coral menu, notice these tabs, these sub-tabs, I guess. So, this is your coral menu. This is your farms menu. So, the seaweed farm costs 50 pearls, and the clam farm costs 100 pearls. These are super important. You should get these as soon as you can, um, because they sort of idly pop up, and, you know, every 10 minutes you'll get some seaweed. You have to click it, and you have to be connected to the internet to get it. Um, but you'll eventually amass a lot of seaweed and a lesser degree of clams. Um, don't spend pearls to speed it up. That's a huge waste. Generally, in any mobile game, spending gems or whatever premium currency to speed things up, that is pretty much always a bum deal, and they only do that to capture whales who, like, spend $1,000 because they want to get their farm filled. They want their corn right now, and they're going to spend $50 a day to get their corn to grow, and it's... It's exploitative and gross, and it's not even really worth it. So, save your pearls. There's other stuff. We'll get to the better stuff soon. But buy, definitely buy them as soon as possible. The farms are very important, but after you buy them, they'll just be little things that pop up, and you just tap them to get it. Um, you might have saw me. I think I got it on accident earlier before I got to explain this. But uh, there's a little seaweed pop up here you tap on. Um, and that's pretty much it for the farms. They're very important, but very simple. On their own, anyway. Like I said, it's there's layers and layers of menus now, which I think the, the UI layout is mostly good, but it's pretty easy to miss things because there's so much going on. And the game doesn't really do a good job of telegraphing when there's new stuff because there's just so much that gets lost in the shuffle. Anyway, this is the fish menu. Um, all fish cost the same. Um, the fish prices, yes, they do keep increasing forever. That's the, how the game works. Um, everything just keeps rising in price because you keep getting the ability to buy new stuff. So you'll never be able to buy just infinite fish. Um, you just kind of trying to keep up the pace of being able to buy fish is kind of the game itself. So you'll keep upgrading your stone, you'll keep buying fish, and the, you know the price increases by 3.5 times every time. So uh, Basically how it works is you just a double you double your vitality production once you get every 25 coralite levels you double both uh, Idle and tap vitality every time you buy a fish and uh, Every time you get one of these major achievements you also increase your vitality um, And the game t tends to slow down overall um, Like if you just keep buying fish and coralites only um, It will eventually take longer and longer to get a fish, but that's what the the achievements are for. They kind of bring everything back up to speed. Um, but if you want to speed things up even more, one of the things is fusion fish. That's what this little plus sign thing is. Um, to fuse things, you need at least two fish, and you need some stuff from those farms that we talked about just a second ago. So, um, ugh, Parker. Um, for efficiency, I usually recommend the angels are pretty much the most efficient. Uh, the damsels are pretty good too. Um, basically, anything that involves clams, don't want you don't want to spend just seaweed. Um, though, if you want one of each fish, obviously that's to be expected. But like, let's make a bandit angel. Sure. So, what the bandit angel? What the way the fused fish works is. It doesn't really fuse, it requires two fish, but it actually only uses up one fish. So you're basically painting a fish. Um, it's like, think of it like a designer fish. You take one of your, uh, what is that, ask for angel? Oh, thanks for closing my game, Parker. Thanks. I, I meant to do that, thank you. Um, but yeah, basically it takes your ask for angel, turns it into a bandit angel. Don't ask how. Don't ask how. PETA would be on my back so fast. Um, uh, it just takes your ask for angel, it takes this amount of seaweed, this amount of things, and it adds a vitality bonus. So like, you can actually see that in the managed fish. Oh, I forgot to mention those. So it actually adds to your total vitality production. As you can see, I'm getting a lot of extra vitality, so... Fusion fish actually, it seems bad because, you know, consumes your fish, but it, it makes all of your future vitality productions increase. Uh, and it just keeps on stacking and stacking. 
As you can see, even if you have two of the same fusion fish, it still adds more to your vitality total. So that's pretty significant. Um, oh, there's also this package item create life discount. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. That's better explained later. Um, but fusion fish are a lot better deal than they sound. Also, since fusion fish always require two, um, basically that just prevents you from using up your last fish. I'm not entirely sure if that's why, but I think it is. Um, also, fusion fish do interact with the collection, so you might not want to fuse a fish that you need, like, say, say I need f five triangle butterflies. Um, I would not want to fuse butterflies until I complete this collection, maybe? But once you have completed the collection, you can fuse things. Like, I think I have... I think it's in this one. Yeah, you can see I don't have this... I have less peppermint angels than it wants, but I still have, you know, I keep my rewards. So basically complete the collection first, then you can fuse things your heart away. And fusing keeps your progression going faster, so never be reluctant to fuse, really. Um, unless you need a fish immediately, or, you know, whatever. But basically don't worry about it. Um, the Luck Shell, it's a Gashapon. I hate these. These are... They're bad business practices. They're basically gambling. I, I really don't like them. But for free, you can get, you know, a, a, the poor one, which gives you, you know, usually a vitality. I would say maybe at least 50% vitality. Small chance of gems, small chance of pearls, small chance of getting a random uh, prior event fish. You can't get a fish from the current event, but if, like, you missed Christmas and you really want a polar bear, there's a very minuscule chance you might get a polar bear in there. Um, I would not recommend spinning with pearls. You get free spins, one free spin of each of the more expensive ones, just to try it out. I'm not really impressed with them. And 200 pearls is a lot. That's like, uh, well, let's check for, okay, 200 pearls is $5. So that's five, that's a $5 spin right there. $5 for one possibility of like a virtual turtle. Like, like let me, let me, let me show you. Um, would you spend five dollars for one of these? For this? Just one. You don't have the ability to buy more of it just because you bought it either. You just, five dollars for this. It's not even the worst turtle. There's worse turtles, but uh, personally, nah. Uh, do watch, the, I do watch the free ad for the free spin thing sometimes. You can get, most importantly, the funny thing is, I usually do the Gashapon to get pearls for other things because <laughs> It's funny because they want me to spend the pearls on the Gashapon. Oh yeah, here's the thing. That's how you get your seaweed. Um, I, I would really not recommend paying pearls on the on the Gasha. Just watch your get your free spins. Um, pearls are were originally introduced for this expand menu, which um, has a lot of stuff to buy. So basically, everything in these first two menus is cosmetic. Um, you can purchase new terrain. Some people don't realize. Um, anytime you're in this uh, expand menu, you can pan around the camera and sort of take a closer look at things. Um, some people want to purchase terrain and they're like, oh, why can't I put things on the left side of the Coralite? Well, you just pan over, and there you go. So, that's how you do that. Um, everything in this first thing is like terrain items. These are, uh, these are sort of neat because you can kind of stack them on each other. Anything that's in terrain, as you can see, I put... Uh, what is that? That's a big rock, or a wide rock, excuse me. A wide rock on top of a big pillar here, and you can, you know. Once you place these, you can move these around. You can store them. You can do whatever. Um, you can take them back out. And so these are for keeps, and uh, these do not have any, these are all purely cosmetic. Uh, in this menu, there's a bunch of coral you can buy. These are all purely cosmetic. Again, even though they're coral, they're different from the other corals because because reasons. Uh, and these these are fairly expensive as far as cosmetics go because that's like 50 days or 50 gems or pearls. 50 pearls is basically a day's worth of pearls because of the daily missions, right? So, I tend to think of pearls as like a day's worth of effort is 50, so 50 days for one, you know, fancy jar and enemy. That's not horrible, but if you go into this menu, these things actually affect your vitality. So craters, these craters cost 30, I think. These cost 60, and these cost 
300, or no, 150, I think, to start with. And basically this means I get, basically this means I get 12,000, or 1,200 um, percent more tap vitality. Core light vitality is this number that you're, per tap. And like I said, that's the most important one because delicious food is your main source of vitality. Um, and that goes by only your tap vitality. So you want to increase your tap vitality as much as possible. Which is why I've got so many craters. Also, craters, you only get one crater even though you upgrade them up to 20 times. Some people are like, oh, it didn't give me my second crater. It's like, nah, it just, it's an upgrade. It's... If you wanted to fill your tank with craters, I'm sorry, you only get three. Uh, same for sandcastles. Sandcastles are, like I've said, coral, not very good. Um, you can buy them if you want just like a cosmetic one. It's only 30 je uh, pearls. See, there's too many currencies. Um, get, even getting me confused, but um, yeah, if you want to buy just one, even I and my hatred, my burning hatred, it's not that bad, but uh, my dislike for corals, I bought one just, you know, for cosmetic reasons, you know, put a little sandcastle out there, and uh, yeah, the, these are very important for vitality production, between, uh, so let me tell you a story, way back when, they added a bunch of new coral to the game that were insanely expensive. See, even I'm getting caught up in these menus. There's so many. Um, they added these corals that were insanely expensive. I was like further than like 99% of people in the game, and I was only able up to buy up to the orange blade coral. Pink tree coral required CS vitality. I was at like B, D vitality, and like I had like. I didn't even want to play anymore. It was so boring. It was so slow. Uh, and they never really fixed that uh, for months. It, these cor two corals were just practically impossible to get. A lot of people in the game cheat, and so some people did have it, which that is so stupid, by the way. You add content that only cheaters can get. Like, what? <laughs> it's unbelievable. Like, you reward cheaters, but everybody who has to play the game normally, like, they can't even get your stupid new fish because they're impossible. Like, thanks. But, between fusion fish and these craters, it actually made the seemingly impossible suddenly pretty dang possible. So I now have giant green kelp and pink tree coral, as you can see. Um, fusion fish helped a lot. Uh, craters helped a lot. I've got about the same bonus from both. Um, there's a higher total bonus you can get from fusion fish if you just keep going. Uh, but craters are very good, too. Um, so yeah, those those are a lot. Those are very underrated. Well, a lot of people know that they're really good, but if you if you didn't think too much about it, it might not seem as impressive as it really is. Um, yeah, that's the expand menu. Man, this this is a lot bigger video than I thought it would be. I guess the game is even more complex than I really. They have added a lot of complexity since the original game, so it's totally reasonable to get get a little bit lost. Um, this is the shop menu. This is, most things here cost money, as you might expect, or they cost gems, which, you know, is just money, but abstracted. Um, nothing in this vitality menu is worth really doing. Early on, the getting free vitality is kind of okay, but like I said before, it's based off your coral vitality. Look at this. Watch a free video and get 113 EE vitality. That is less than one tap. There, I just did one click. That was worth more than that entire video. Uh, no thanks. Um, and you can, these time travel things, this this is such a confusing and terrible description, they change this, but this is just a burst of instant vitality. It's just five hours worth of your per second vitality. So I can get 11 EF vitality. That might sound like a lot, but if you look, I have 31 EG vitality. I have a whole letter beyond this. Um, and the reason I have that is because my uh, Song of the Moon, you know, 25,000% or 2,500% vitality multiplied by delicious food, which is 25,000 times vitality per tap. So I've got a number that's bigger than I really care to math out right now <laughs> times this number and just basically coral is garbage is the, all you really need to take from this. So I, I could spend 800 gems, which is, uh, how much is that? How much is that in real money? 800 gems is about, uh, that's about $10, a little bit less than $10. And I could get less vitality than a single cast of my three skills. 
so basically this menu is garbage um, Spirit of Life is okay because it doubles your cake drops but gems are still way 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 better used on upgrading your stuff unless you have everything in this menu maxed out which even I don't um, I would never spend gems for anything in this menu um, let's go to the pearls menu the pearls menu is pretty boring um, you don't get a bulk benefit out of the pearls buying pearls uh, I would not recommend buying pearls uh, this is daily pearl package, which is better than the other ones, but still not good. Also, I don't know how this works. Um, somebody asked me they weren't getting their daily pearls. I don't, I don't know how you claim them. I don't know if you just come back to this menu, but if anybody knows that, like, let me know so I can tell people. But I would not recommend buying anything in that menu either. Um, the gems menu, for whatever reason, has the fish you can buy, and also Midas Tap. This is also where you get your free daily gems. Um, also, this little uh, play icon appears anytime there's an ad to watch in the shop. If you go to the shop menu and then leave it, the menu, uh, the notification disappears, even if you, you know, haven't watched the ad. So if you don't want to watch the ads, you can just clear the notification icon and just keep playing without that, you know, little ad annoyance. I really like that feature. Uh, just a little, you know, quality of life thing. Yeah, this is where you get your free gems. Every 15 minutes, you can watch an ad for gems. Uh, if you're on Android only, you can download some games uh, with Get Free Gems. It's like, it's this ad network thing where you download a game or, you know, you get so far in a game and you get rewards. I don't really recommend most of these. Uh, sometimes they're low effort for a decent amount of gems. Uh, generally, I avoid that. Um, super Sale Package. That's some weird limited day thing where you get some gems and whatever. Midas Tap, I think, is overrated. Um... It's been improved, but basically you just long tap and you auto tap starts 10 times per second. But the, 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 the thing is that you can, there's this thing called Nox App Player. Just Google Sir Tap Tap Nox App Player. I'll show you how to read it and you can just, oh look, it auto taps for you and it's free. It's secret, pepperoni secret between you and me. Um, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the Midas Tap. It's not really that great. Like there's certain unlocks that require X amount of taps. And Midas Tap doesn't count for them. It's just kind of embarrassing. Um, I would say if you're going to spend money in this game, get a unique fish. Um, I actually already bought the uh, the $5 package to sort of, you know, support the devs and just to try out how, how it works. Um, but these fish packages, in addition to getting unique fish, and you can buy more of the fish with Vitality, it just goes into your fish list to buy more of, like any other fish. Um, in addition to the fish, you get a very discounted amount of gems, like, you know, 75% discount here. You also get a slight bonus to your vitality, 10%. Um, most, by the way, I should have mentioned this earlier, but most things that say 110% and stuff, it's almost always, the percentages are almost always a lie. So let's look here at my mystic shell. This is actually a 200% increase of vitality. Uh, the developers are bad at math. Uh, there's actually only one menu where percentage actually means what it says, and that's this expand menu. Um, I don't know why they did this, and that, that actually makes it more confusing, because it's right in exactly one menu, and all of the other menus are wrong. But basically subtract 100 from any percentage that you see in the game, uh, except if it's in the expand menu. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, when you buy a thing, it gives you, this is a pretty minor bonus, like I said, that's 10%. Um, that's one crater. That's one, you know, small crater in the expand menu's worth. Um, it also makes create life means like when you buy a fish, that'll be a 50% discount. And that stacks. But the thing is, that's not as good as it sounds because it'll make this price 50% cheaper. So I'd be like 90 EG. But when I buy a fish, it still goes up by 3.5. So think of it as getting a single fish half off and everything else. Progression wise, it doesn't really affect you very significantly. It's like a one-time bonus, even though it, it's technically permanent, but it increases, you know, the increase stays the same, so it's not as good as it sounds. Um, I would mostly just say buy, if you think getting a Corgi in your game is worth $10, uh, get, get the Corgi package if you really love lionfish, you know. Buy what you think is worth for the fish. Um, I really can't recommend, like I said, these, so... Like, this is 65,000 gems, is $50, or you could buy the, the, the lion, wait, is that the same? 
Yeah, yeah. So you can buy the lionfish and you get almost the same as getting 50. Like, no. Never buy these manual gem packages. They're such a horrible deal compared to the fish. Um, I, I, I'm really not a fan of these $100 freaking things. Like, that's, like I said before, that's whale hunting. That's. That's just trying to exploit people who are either, you know, extremely into their games or have a gambling addiction. Usually both, and it's not healthy and I don't approve of that. But, if you want to spend money in the game, you know, give the developers a tip. Best way you can spend your money usually is buy one of these fish packages. Either, if you really like the anniversary fish, just do know that, um... You can't, uh, the, the cake double, this will double how much cake you get, so I'd get two instead of one. Um, but, uh, it doesn't affect the next event, so it's only for this event. So, like I said, usually, just get it for the fish, treat the rest as a bonus. Uh, that's the shop tab. The event tab, which I just happen to have now, because this is currently an event, um, that only appears while there's an active event, who to thunk. Uh, at the top, there'll always be this get free cake thing. This is not usually worth... The, the, the time, but there's usually an unlock that you get for watching it like 10 or 15 times. Um, as always, if you want to know the unlocks for fish, I have a big guide. Just search, it's actually the first result for Abyssrium on Google, but just search for tap tap Abyssrium, you'll find my guide, or I have a video, I have video forms if you want to search on YouTube instead. Um, I have all of the fish, I have all the fish for this event too. Um, but yeah, for the event, you can just buy fish here, and it costs whatever the event currency is. Like I said, the currency icon will change, but it's the same currency. Um, you can buy event fish with gems. Don't. Please don't. Like, you can't even... Like, to complete this event with gems would cost a total of, like, at least 200,000 gems, which is enough to, like, maximize absolutely everything in this menu, and uh, 200,000 gems. Let's see how much that would cost. So that's that's over a thousand dollars worth of gems. Like I don't like it, it. It actually like genuinely kind of offends me that there's even an option because it is such complete waste of something that could potentially actually cost money. It actually it, it kind of upsets me. It's bad and just don't do that. Also, there's these new baby fish, which they work like fusion fish, but you don't don't get a vitality bonus. Um, let's explain more in the. Uh, in my event videos, but yeah, just know that anything that's in this event tab, um, you can't buy more of it once the event ends. Um, everything what you buy in this event tab will stay if you bought it. It's just a matter of did you buy it or not. So, I think that's all of the menus. There's, there's more menus than I thought there were. I thought this would be a lot quicker than it turned out being. Yeah, as you can see, it's easy to lose a little something in the shuffle. There's, there's a lot going on. But, uh, if, if anything lost you, I have a little video of just the, my daily ritual in Abyssrium. That's all you really need to do for the most part. It's a game where, on the surface, it's pretty simple, and you can play it in a pretty simple way, but it does pay overall to, uh, learn more about it and, uh, dig in a little bit. Because some things that you might think are really worth it actually kind of aren't, and some things you might think aren't worth it, like the craters, like some people thought like, ah, oh, that doesn't seem worth it. Uh, it actually turns out that's extremely important. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> wow, Th 38 minutes, I did not expect there, I did, wow. I can talk about the, the interface in this game alone for 38 minutes, that's kind of intense. But yeah, hopefully that helped.